Hi and welcome to Shovsa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some important questions on physics. You can call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or full videos on our courses. Let's dive right into our first question. In our first question, we are given a meter bridge circuit with resistance on the left hand gap as 2 mu and an unknown resistance x is in the right hand gap as shown in the figure given below. The null point is to be found 40 cm from the left end of the wire. What resistance should be connected to x so that the new null point is 50 cm from the left end of the wire? Let's see how to do this. Now according to the figure 2 by x equals to 40 by 100 minus 40 which equals to 4 by 6 therefore x equals to 3, mi 3 ohms now let's see what the next steps are the first step is to let r ohms be connected with x in parallel to obtain the null point at 50 centimeters from left if 3 ohms be equivalent resistance of x and r then 2 by s equals to 50 by 100 minus 50 which equals to 1 thus s equals to 2 ohms now the third step is to obtain 2 ohms as equivalent between x and r that is 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by r Therefore, R equals to 6 ohms. Therefore, 6 ohms resistance is to be connected in parallel to X. Moving on to the next question. The horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field at a place is 1 by root 3 times the vertical component. We need to measure the angle of dip. Therefore, the angle of dip is equal to theta let therefore the vertical component equals to v tesla therefore tan theta v by h which equals to v by 1 by root 3 v which equals to root 3 which is equals to tan 60 degree thus theta equals to 60 degree moving on to the next question pq is a long straight conductor carrying a current of 3 ampere as shown in the figure an electron moves with a velocity of 2 into 10 to power 7 meter per second parallel to it we need to find the force acting on the electron let's see what the given information are q equals to 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb i equals to 3a r equals to 0 0.6 meters v equals to 2 into 10 to power 7 meter per second and theta equals to 90 degrees therefore b is equals to 10 to power minus 7 into 2 into 3 by 0 0.6 therefore force on electron F is equals to Q V B sine of theta therefore putting in the values we have F equals to 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 into 2 into 10 to power 7 into 10 to power minus 7 cancelling the each other out 6 into 0 0.6 and upon calculation we have f equals to 3.2 into 10 to power minus 18 newtons moving on to the next question now we need to obtain an expression for resonant frequency in a lcr circuit therefore i equals to e by root over r square plus omega l minus omega c and all the symbols have their usual meanings from this we observe that when omega equals to 0 
i becomes 0 and again when omega equals to infinity i equals to 0 this implies there must be a value of omega at which i is maximum that is so when i is maximum this term should be minimum for this either r equals to 0 or omega l minus omega c equals to 0 so when omega l minus 1 by omega c equals to 0 this is called resonance condition now we see what happens at resonance condition at resonance omega l equals to 1 by omega c or omega square equals to 1 by l c therefore omega r equals to 1 by root over l c or 2 pi f r equals to 1 by root l c where f r equals to frequency of resonance this f r equals 1 by 2 pi into 1 by root l c that is the required expression for resonance frequency thus with this we come to this short video on different important questions on physics please like subscribe and contact us for any doubts or full videos on these courses